clues and banter. Hi, Frank. Hey, Roman. What's up? Not much. How are you? I'm good. Busy week. Episode 7. I'm excited. Month is almost over. Getting into summer. Yeah, not soon enough. It's still fucking yeah. shitty out, but we'll we'll get there. So, all right, tell us the beer we're starting with. This beer is from uh, it's it's from Night Shift Brewing. It's a Santilli. It's an American IPA, six percent out of uh, Everett, Massachusetts. So, mm-hmm. let's start off with that and get this party rolling. Even though we've already started it, <laughs> like always. Yeah, we always pregame. And while we're opening the beers, um, I got a joke for you. What's the difference between Santa and Tiger Woods? I don't know. Santa ends with three hoes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Poor Tiger. (laughs) You guys had a rough couple years. Yeah, I I think I heard Tiger Woods and um, Justin Timberlake trying to build like a new town in Florida. No. What? Is it Florida, right? No, I heard about uh, Tiger Woods and Mike Trout building a golf course in New Jersey. But, oh, okay, go on with your story. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard that other well, version. How much you drink when you heard this? Because maybe that kind of... I don't remember. <laughs> maybe like really clarify. I don't remember what beer I was on. <laughs> All right, let's try sucking their stuff here. This is the... Uh... All right. Really foamy. Yeah. I like sucking this stuff. <laughs> Yeah, we drink it's a good. lot of IPAs. I I was talking to my friend. I've developed a taste for IPAs. Oh, you know what I got? I bought a shirt. Yeah. It says IPA lot when I drink. <laughs> <laughs> I saw someone else wearing it. It's like a Canadian IPA. IPA. <laughs> IPA. <laughs> but um, I was telling him I developed a taste for IPAs because I didn't used to be a fan of them. And, you know, they're just all right. But now I've been drinking more IPAs. I'm like, mm, you know, different tastes. I, I, I'm starting to feel like the, the aromas and different tastes. Um, so, yeah, right. I'm becoming a better you know, fan. It's like role reversal. Like, I mean, just in life, like, I go both ways. Because I was an IPA favorite at first, but now I'm kind of going back the other way. They get, it's like a cyclical, you know, like you're up and down, up and down. And... You swing both ways. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Whatever way the wind blows, yeah. as long as something's <laughs> blowing. <laughs> so speaking of all this alcohol, I wanted to just mention some things from the last episode. We talked about dragon juice. So we had a couple of people emailing us. Uh, you know, not a lot, but a couple of people asking for that, that mm-hmm. recipe or the um, the, the the mix, and it's... um. It's amazing how much these people love to drink and, and all these people listen to us and like you know what they're into and like people try stuff and they're really curious and they're they're okay with that and, and I love it. But it, it that is good shit. So again, I, contact us if you want it. Yeah, I really like the drink. I, I had it before we started. Yeah. Yeah, and uh I mean you're only having part of it because there's another part we can we can add. Um That's right. The other thing and don't you fucking say I'm it. Not don't saying you it. Fucking... <laughs> I'm not saying it. <laughs> but uh so and also I got um an email. I'm on this this kind of email list with um, you know, uh, current events, world history, or world news stuff like mm-hmm. that. But uh, they were talking about in light of all these Bud Light issues we're having, or, mm-hmm. or the country's having, or you know, InBev's having. Um, oh my god! Oh, <laughs> well, that was early. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was. I hope it's not indicative of other things that are premature. You might be onto something. There's something wrong with me. There is something wrong with you. You're you're got the same thing Hitler had, but not his butt. <laughs> But so back to Invent. So um, there was a, uh, a report out this week that Yingling was the number one craft brewery in the U.S. So you know, another little positive news for for mm. you know what's happening in light of everything else in the in the in the alcohol world. Well, I don't have U.S. made product for today, but that yeah. So that's it right there. That yeah, covers yeah, I it. I, and I and I didn't I didn't really look you know that in depth to it, but I think they're the oldest brewery in the U.S. Even Yingling out of Pennsylvania, no shit. So, yeah, yeah, that's good awesome. Stuff. I think um, they're big um, uh, supporters for service men and women who yep, uh, yep. military. Yes, I did um, golf tournament for veterans. Hmm. <laughs> there, that's the word I was looking for. That was a toughie. Wow. <laughs> that's a tough yeah, one. I'm glad you, get, I'm glad Considering you made it. Considering my brother is a veteran. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, they they were sponsors of that uh, golf tournament. Mm-hmm. Always so. a great cause. All those things, you know. Yeah. Like I said, we said you know uh, veterans, first responders, uh, local business, American made, women, yeah. women supported stuff. Mm-hmm. So, you know, everything we like, keep sending us ideas, and we'll we'll keep uh, you know talking everyone, about that. Everyone who's opening businesses and supporting um, American made product and want to make stuff here and uh, provide jobs, um, we're all for it. Yeah. Matter doesn't matter who you are. Some uh, some other you know feedback we got from other episodes. We were talking about the the um, well, I don't really know how we even arrived to it, but it was it was the you know I decided I wanted a cow tongue to lick my ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we had one one listener send us an email. He said it actually happened to his cousin when he was younger. So this is like true shit. Like this is I thought I was just thinking of a weird fucking thing to say. But this guy said, no, it actually happened to his cousin Donnie when they were younger. He lost a bet, and the cow had to lick his ass. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I'm just hilarious. glad people even share this with us. I thought, you're, funny shit. I thought you're the weirdest one. Apparently, there are more people. Yeah, there's there's people worse than us. And, and then one other. So from the last one, when we talked about the, the hooker uh-huh. in, in, the, in the hygiene, we had another guy, Jeff, email us and say, uh, he wanted me to ask you. He said, would, would Roman allow the hooker to use his toothbrush? Oh, oh no! He said, "Would I use her toothbrush?" No, no. Would he? Would 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 you allow the hooker to use your toothbrush? Because why is the hooker bringing a toothbrush? She or don't share pack her own toothbrush. He said, "Or share a pillow." Fine. Yeah, because we had that whole discussion. Well, you I'm sure coming you're sharing more than a pillow when you're in that fucking bed. But <laughs> so no and no. <laughs> That's, those are hard no That's just done But I could still ejaculate on the pillow And you put a pillowcase over As long as it's clean Just to clarify here Whatever makes you happy <laughs> But my head's not going on it. <laughs> Whatever you do with your pillow <laughs> uh, you're, to gonna hu- it you're gonna hump it like your dog Yeah, whatever yeah. <laughs> I'll do it Hey, I got a question Okay How do you get a squirrel from the tr- down from the tree? How do you get a squirrel down from the tree? Uh, pull your pants down and show them your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's never worked for me before. Try it. Every other time. Let I me know how it. that works out. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, the squirrels, man, freaking, they destroyed my uh, bird feeder. Yeah, there's something you can put in place to stop that from happening. There's like a, some sort of fucking tray bullshit you could pull over it so they can't. You know, put on top of the bird feeder, and then mm-hmm. they can't get underneath the tray. It's a flat piece. Mm. So they're, you know, they can't crawl under it. I have it hanging from like a, a soffit. Of or you know what else works, I heard? Get rid of the fucking bird feeder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then I'll try that. I'll do that. The fucking dirty fucks. They shit on everything. I'm going to take that bird feeder down. Let, let you know if they come back. All right. Listen, so we got we got to nail this down. Next week, so we got a couple of meetings with people, but next week, can we please start the pound round? Okay. Did, did I talked about this? Yes. Yeah, the pound round. So we're gonna we're gonna do a pound round, where it's gonna be the four beers an hour, one beer every fifteen minutes, and whoever doesn't keep up, owes owes the other person five you daddies. I think it was three, but I want five because I'm gonna win, so I want more you daddies. Yeah, you you mentioned it, but there were no rules discussed. Well, this is or... the rules. It's official. I ran it by the committee, and I talked to myself, and they said, "Yeah, this is good." You yourself and <laughs> yeah, and you yeah. So we'll do that. We'll do that next week. So if you guys want to see some, you know, inebriated Frank and Roman, listen to next week's episode. I'll have to. Uh, I have to get Uber. That's fine. Not driving after that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you shouldn't, but that's okay. We'll yeah. figure it out. Because we're responsible. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, we'll make other arrangements. Like maybe one of these hookers can bring you home or some bullshit. <laughs> 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 have have hooker drive my car. Yeah. So then we also had Untapped. Yeah. You know, speaking of the alcohol part of it, Untapped. There's been a lot of people that have now followed us on Untapped or request us as friends. However that works. But uh, so saying thank you for that, everybody. And again, that's just another free, you know, sort of non laborious thing we can do to you know pass time. And I just rated my first beer on there. Yeah. What was that? Fiddlehead. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. We talked about that, the fiddlehead, Mm -hmm. because we have a lot of those. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think. What if we sign up for, like, um, 
beer tasting class where we can kind of like get educated. So when we do these reviews, we can actually uh, be a little more accurate. What does that mean? They just I don't teach know, us like, to use different words? Because I could say it tastes good. It makes I Roman guess. fucking burp and it's an IPA. <laughs> there, class over. I don't know. Just to <laughs> like get a little more educated and, and, and tasting beer Do they properly. have these things? These are real? I think so. Yeah, uh-huh. we I'll look do it, it up. Will you yeah. be up for it? Yeah. So, but I mean, they actually let you taste the beers. That's cool. Yeah, you go there, you taste different bills, beers, <laughs> bills. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> it was so erotic uh, when you said that. <laughs> Why'd you grab well, your nipple? That I was, was kind of weird <laughs> for you, not me. It was, I was doing a motion of licking a bill. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, they they I think they teach you um, proper terminology and and, and how to identify different tastes and, and what smells mean and but i don't know yeah, just I'll an idea it. we can try it yep yep maybe we can give our listeners better review yep. we're trying to improve in everything equipment skills yeah so we're still ironing out the uh the equipment we, like we, we said last time we've, we've upgraded we got some things going on um but we want to be able to present something that's you know, not messed up. So we're still working through some, some other issues trying to figure that out, but we'll get there. I mean, it's mm-hmm. like I said, this is episode seven and, uh, you know, maybe eight, we get it done. Maybe nine. You know, I've listened, I've listened to a podcast that are in, in their hundreds and sometimes they've had bad sound. Yeah. And those people probably have something that's, uh, you know, not done by, Two people sitting in a fucking Yeah, I'm basement. sure they, they yeah. have some professional. I mean, they're probably clothed also, which is kind of weird. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they got a sound engineer who takes care of all this stuff. But hiccups happen. I mean, just have to be understanding. Well, um, So I think I mentioned this to you earlier, or at the, end of, at the end of the last episode. So I don't really know what your favorite kind of music is. Like, mm-hmm. what kind of music do you listen to? Oh, and what kind of music do you hate? Um I think it depends on the activity. So if I work out, I like to listen to like inspir- inspirational music or something that gets my blood pumping, like metal. Mm-hmm. Um, if I'm running, I listen to a lot of like movie theme songs. Well, these are all things I just don't do. I don't work out anymore, and I'm never going to fucking run um, again. If I'm working, I like to listen to 80s, classic rock. Mm-hmm. Um or like opera, fucking jazz, all this other stuff. Like blues. I like jazz, I like jazz, blues, uh, not nothing to like hardcore. There's some like really hardcore jazz where I just can't get into it. Mm-hmm. More like mellow, you yeah. know. Um, I like the like the Louisiana stuff, that kind of jazz they play, and you know, I, I listen to everything. Yeah, I listen to all of it. I don't have specific like to be like, oh, this is my favorite. Yeah. But it depends on what I'm doing, what kind of mood I'm in. Yeah. I, I I bring this up because we we came across someone on uh, a follower on on Instagram, mm-hmm. uh, Rock Brew Podcast, mm-hmm. uh, and they're affiliated. I, th- I think you know they all have a they have a podcast, but the band is actually Chuck Mountain. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, Chuck Mountain out of uh, out of North Carolina. They're just a three piece band. They sound great. I I love their music. And yeah. So we'll be reviewing that here sometime shortly. Um, you know, we've been in communication with them, and and I and, and I just bring this up because it's got. To me, like a Southern rock sort of ZZ Top vibe mm-hmm. to it, um, which is everything I like. But I didn't, I didn't know what you listened to. But just to let people know, maybe look for that in the future. Maybe, in, probably, maybe not until you, even a month away from now. But um, it's it's pretty cool. You can check them out. There's videos on YouTube. Yeah, you played me their songs. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I'm looking forward. Well, that's to, what I was uh, bringing up. I know I played it, but I didn't really ask you like if you even like that yeah. stuff. Oh but, no, yeah, yeah, I like it. But uh, it, that, that's good stuff. I appreciate what they said too. They they wrote us a comment saying, you know, hey, Bruce and Banter, keep up the good work. Um, we're big fans of your podcast. Yeah. And, so uh, thank you guys, and we we like your music, and looking forward to hearing more of it. We got also some more stickers from um, uh, I am Bruce Squatch. He sent us some stickers, so we we did. Yeah, that they're pretty well. cool. Yeah, they're they're pretty cool stickers, and then also we. Uh, we received some some merchandise and some uh, some stickers from uh, Seven One Four Brewing. Oh yeah, and uh, that's very nice of them uh, to send it from California. Yep, yep. So we'll we'll um, we'll kind of review that stuff later, also. But that's just stuff that's arriving to us, and we're trying to keep up. There's 
you know, not, not an overwhelmingly amount of stuff coming in, but Mm -hmm. enough for us to, you know, have to sort of struggle talking about all of it once a week. So yeah, yeah. Good stuff. They they get a great designer. We'll take a picture. What's that? We'll take a picture and post it. Yep. They got a great graphic designer, great owner, um, Stephanie. So we'll, thank uh, you. We'll, 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 we'll talk about that later, but yeah. Um, back to the, back to the beer. This is, um, you know, not not much different than some of the other IPAs. It's not bad. It's just mm-hmm. sort of familiar, I think, to some of the other ones we've had. This one stays a little longer, like that uh, aftertaste. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. doesn't go away as quick. I agree. Like, um, I don't know. See, see, that's what we need the class for. <laughs> to tell us. Kind of like um, bitter taste almost. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's like, definitely there. Yes, it stays around for a little longer. Yeah. Stays on the tongue longer. Uh, it's like on the back of the tongue. Sure, it's whatever. Like deeper. Depends on how long it's it like is. It's like deep throating. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Why, did, why does the conversation change so quick? Well, I started way earlier than you, so. <laughs> so that brings me to yeah, the Frank phrase of the week. So this is perfect. Oh, okay. The Frank phrase of the week, all right? So I want to, you ever hear how you dress? People say, how do you dress? How do you dress? Yeah, have you ever heard this? No. So it's it's like if you're getting f- I think it's like fitted for a suit or a tux. Mm-hmm. They say, how do you dress? But what they mean was, like, which side of your leg is your dick on? <laughs> so, like, really? Like, yeah. Like, do you, <laughs> you're so shocked by this. Like, yeah. Like, do you, is your, is your dick like the point to the right or does it point to the left? Like, no one's dick goes in the middle because there's a fucking seam in your pants. Like, you'd have a right. fucking, so you got to pick. But, like, I wanted to know because I don't know. I I'm, I want to so we'll take a poll with this also. I want to know if whether you dress left or right, like whether your dick hangs left or right, if that's your political affiliation also. <laughs> do you Hold lean on left a second. Or do you lean right? I I have like three tailored suits. I I don't remember the the tailors asking me if I tuck my well, dick in my right leg okay, or the left. I'm leg. probably the wrong person. You're the wrong person to ask because you're. Dick's probably too small to fucking hang either maybe, way. Yeah, maybe it's so tiny. <laughs> maybe it was cold. Like, what was the temperature when you did it? Yeah, we were, were outside. outside? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think that's what they do because they like they want to like interesting you know, seam up the crotch to like yeah. you know sort of make your pants fit, but your dick's got to go somewhere on either side of that seam. Hmm. Um, I think I go to the right. Like I, I. I think my dick kind of <laughs> goes to the right. I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I I don't even know why you ask these questions because I really don't know the answer. That's but all right. It's so. Fucked I, I up. think it also depends on which direction your dick is curved. I think people. Yeah, like what's that? Like Peroni's disease? Like that commercial <laughs> where they got like a bent banana or something what? like that? Like yeah, there's like a commercial for it. Like you get some medicine if your dick bends. Peroni's disease. I think it's so. Yeah, not pierogies. Not like the shit you eat. No, like that's Peroni's. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, guys. You guys all have to lose brain cells listening That's to us. That's right. This is this is. It's uh, entertaining. <laughs> it's not for everybody. <laughs> but okay, so I'll I'll let people know next week, and and you can let people know next week which way we dress. I already told you. No, you said you think. No, I'm pretty sure I tuck my dick. Well, see, in you're my still right not leg. even fucking confident. I, I think I'm pretty sure. No, but you don't know. So, okay, <laughs> right now my dick is in my right leg. <laughs> Oh, it's so disturbing to think uh, you probably touched it when yeah, you said that. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> We're recording this, so you can check the video yeah. later. <laughs> yeah. So at some point, that's also something else we'll do. We'll have the uh, we'll have you know video. We mentioned it before, but we'll we'll be publishing video of these of these podcasts on YouTube. So we're still trying to figure out how. Yeah. And then um, I mean, for some people, it's probably a piece of cake, but we're we're learning as we go. Well, and it's harder because we drink so fucking much yeah. during these things. Like maybe if we were sober. So yeah, we'll get through that and we'll work on it. You were talking about uh, Yingling earlier. Mm-hmm. That it's um, would you say the oldest brew? Brewery? I think it's the oldest brew in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. So we're in Syracuse, New York. Did you know we've had uh, Middle Ages mm-hmm. beer a couple times now? Mm-hmm. Did you know that they're the first, uh, I think, IPA brewery in Syracuse? Ah, uh, you know what? I I I didn't know that, but I did read that uh, only a couple weeks ago. I mean, they've been around for like I think you said eighty five or something. 95? No, no, no. Um, here I pulled it up here. Nineteen ninety four is yep. when the 
they started. So yeah. Mark Rubinstein remembers the early days of Middle Ages, the brewery he founded with his wife, Mary, in 1994. At that time, he essentially went door-to-door -door trying to get bars to carry his traditional English-style ales. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So I think they were like the pioneers here in Syracuse. I mean, you're talking almost 30 years ago, which is weird because... Yeah. But you know, like Rochester and Buffalo, it's crazy. Like, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, I think they were like ahead of Syracuse when, with IPAs and craft beer and microbreweries. Yeah, I don't. I mean, so for those that don't know, I think um, I'm, I'm not. You know, I'm not exactly sure, but I think the, the the general consensus is that New York has some of the best tasting water in the country. Mm -hmm. So that I think helps. You know why these breweries are all popping up over here. I th part of the region where we live to, live too, we have a lot of. Um, Fresh, uh, clean right. water. Yeah, yeah, water sources, sure. Yeah. yeah. A lot of lakes and stuff like that. We can so. drink tap water and yeah, a lot of places it's unfortunately uh, I, um, not as clean. I, uh, we had we had uh, you know, Easter here a couple years ago. <laughs> a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Man, so this Santilli stuff is pretty good shit. <laughs> it's IP. It's kicking yeah. your ass. So whenever Easter was, whatever day you want to pick, that's the Easter yeah. day. But uh, we had someone over and um and they're a rookie drinker you know young young newbie and uh and his his mom's like oh you know take it easy just have one you know one, one beer whatever it was so i'm in the refrigerator i'm looking like where the fuck are these beers going and, and I'm, I'm looking i'm like eh, he there's no fucking way i mean we're we're two hours into it i'm like there's no fucking way he's on his first beer still so then uh I looked at him. I'm like, yeah, I know what's going on here. I'm not new to this. And, uh, you know, his, his, his mom's like one beer. And he's like, yeah, I'm having one beer at a time. But he had like eight beers. <laughs> <laughs> and just, he was like, he just would just make the can look the exact same every time he's holding it. And like, so his mom wouldn't think like he's just nursing it. I'm like, how fucking warm would that thing be after six, after six hours? <laughs> but, um, I like that he, um, he's in the armed forces and, uh, he's, he's supporting our country and he's, uh, He's defending us, and um, uh, I appreciate that. So, um, he, you know, he he made it home. He, he got some, he was fortunate enough to get some leave. So, you know, we we helped entertain him, and, and uh, good guy. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Thank you. Yeah, I saw this picture online where, um, right from your thumb to your fingers, this area here, uh -huh. there was a tattoo, and it says, "Beer goes here." <laughs> <laughs> Right, so, so that oh, great. I'm glad you bring that up because I'm thinking you could have that on each hand, because in the other one, probably Dick goes here, because <laughs> you can't really beat off with the same hand you drink with, right? I mean, unless you pour beer in your hand and get your date drunk, <laughs> like beating off while you're holding a beer, in the same hand. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> Like, man, you got a talent if that guy. Where did your imagination go? <laughs> I don't know. Like, how tiny are you or how big are you? Like, how small is the beer can or how big is your dick? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you used two hands. It was something about a tattoo. Welcome to New York. Did you uh, hear that maybe, joke? Maybe we should do something like where you can tell me a joke in a minute, but we get like, I don't know. 3,000 followers and I get a tattoo or something. <laughs> ah, so yeah, there's all these things we could do. We could do that. We could do, like, does Roman shave his beard? Does Frank grow his beard? Mm. You know, does Roman get a mullet? Does Frank get a mullet? Because, yeah, no one's really seen us, so they don't even know what it looked like. Yeah, we'll take a picture. Post I it. mean, yeah, we don't look much different than our fucking logo. I mean, we're yeah, we'll sexy look, bitches. We look exactly like the logo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly like you think that we wouldn't look. <laughs> no, that's what we look like um, when we're younger. Yeah, when we're youthful. But I don't know. I look yeah, so we'll do polls like that at some point. Like, I'll grow a beard. I'll give a I had it. It just didn't now. But, and you got this fucking... Let's get you a beard. You can just slap it on your face. What's that? Let's get a beard for you. Just slap it on your face. Okay. All right. But you got this thick fucking, I don't know. I've been growing it, but look at yeah, the gray like, hair I mean, It I looks have, like man. you shaved yesterday, and you got this fucking carpet on your face. <laughs> it's like a like a 
It's a Berber face fucking rug. It wasn't there last night. <laughs> it was a Berber face rug. Yeah. Yeah, that's a full fucking thing right there, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, it kind of mashes in with your back hair and your fucking neck. and your My chest. back hair? Like you're, like, your back you're like hair. Teen Wolf. <laughs> you're Roman Wolf. I love that movie. <laughs> yeah, that's who you are. You're fucking super hairy. <laughs> So yeah, beer's good. Beer's good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Thank you guys. It's, I mean, uh, I'll tell you, it's not my favorite. I don't. I'm not. I'm not. I don't dislike it. Yeah. Oh, let's let's um, let's rate it. Yeah. What's, what What's your score? Out of four. Out of five. Four. Why out of four? No, That's no. Weird. I'm giving it a four out of five. <laughs> oh, I thought you said out of four. No, and then you said out of five. You said okay, four. Yeah, out of five. That's a four. Holy fuck, this is difficult. Yes. Why is it so complicated a, for are you? we talking about Shiwi? Like, what the fuck is happening no. here? <laughs> I was just talking to someone about that. Uh, no. <laughs> I will give it three. Oh, you're stingy. You're like that fucking weird judge on Dance with the Stars, Len. By the way, I feel bad because he just died. I, I, just, I read that oh. this week. But he was like always the most stringent judge. Oh, really? And everybody's like, boo, boo. That's you're getting boos, Roman. And everybody's right. giving fucking Frank I'll be, up. I'll be Simon from America's Got Talent. Isn't he like the tough one? Um, well, but Simon Cowell is actually from American Idol. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what about America's Got Talent? That's like, that was Howard Stern and that was Howie Long. No, he was on there too. Who? Howard, uh, Simon Cowell. I don't know that. Yeah, I think he's on I think there. he's kind of a wiener. Mine is the British part. I'm not British. British. What? I said I think he's kind of a wiener. What's that have to do with being British? No, I said I'm like Simon. Oh, from... oh okay. Wow. What the, what fuck, the fuck are fuck you, dude? What's going on, man? I don't know. Are we in the same room? Like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> are we drinking the same stuff here? This is good stuff, apparently. I like 6% on top of the. So, what, what, what happened about Bud Light? I've never heard of it. <laughs> you didn't? I don't know if we should get into it. People don't. I'll get into it. I just crack myself up. <laughs> it's a. Uh... No, obviously. Well, watch I've the heard Kid Rock it. video. You'll you'll see. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah. I saw that. I saw a, there's people... a lot of people just upset about it. They lost a lot of market share for yeah. whatever their marketing part is, and whatever the deal is. Um, I'm not I'm not in that arena to know you know what happened. Mm-hmm. I just know what's happening, and um, there's some. Some pissed off people about the person representing a gender on the Bud Light can. I didn't even know that. Yeah, but I don't. I don't, I don't know the details. All I know is <laughs> all of a sudden people were pissed about it. Yeah, yeah. I hear it, and people are like, oh, "I'm not buying that anymore." I'm like, what's going on? And then I saw a Kid Rock video, and then I mm-hmm. kind of research it, and you know, my my uh. wife looks into it. What the fuck, Roman? I turned away. Oh, that's so sexy. Like what? <laughs> It doesn't matter because I don't really like to drink uh, beer from these big companies. I like to support the yeah. small yeah. breweries. Yeah, that's not really our niche. I mean, I'm fine with people that want to you know, create jobs and, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But um, I, I will tell you, again, I don't, I don't dislike Budweiser, Bud Light, or any of their products. Mm-hmm. I just know that they're not American anymore, mm-hmm. um, which is really... What do you mean not anymore? We're, we're, they were always American. Then InBev, I think there's... Uh, Maybe a Switzerland or oh, they got butt out. Yeah, like years ago. Oh, so they're not. See, they're, that shows how much I care about. This yeah, yeah. So they're companies. just not. I mean, I mean, like I said, it's not. It's not bad beer. I just don't know, you know, what's going on with. Yeah, we're 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 the we're the little people. I mean, these these guys, you know, all these big corporations, they talk about themselves. They got things going on, and like uh, I can't even pretend to imagine what the fuck is happening in the boardroom there. Mm-hmm. But um. Yeah, it's just not our niche, so you know, they they move on. We move on with with something like Yingling, which is craft and American, mm-hmm. American. Yeah, I've had Yingling, but uh, again, I don't really drink it that often. Yeah, I mean, like we'll drink it all. We'll see because there's so many of these small breweries. It just, I don't think we'll ever run out of beer here. Yeah, like to try new beers. Yeah, and we got it. So we got to get into some of these other things, like this Applejack. Yes. Because all I've ever had was the cereal. Applejack. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even heard of this stuff, but we have it, and I, and I, and I know the history of it now. Mm-hmm. So uh, Yeah, now we know the history. We know where to get 
awesome apple jack um from harvard spirits and um uh, i'm thinking we, we should do some kind of like mixes with it and then we'll do um straight up apple jack and then mix drinks as well yeah and we can post like the the yeah. recipes we found yeah or people can send us emails on if oh yeah if they know a cool apple jack mix um, what was that if if someone knows yeah. a, a good apple jack mix yep. Yeah, because we're not familiar with it. I mean, you know, but I'll try anything. I just bought, um, well, not just, like maybe a couple months ago, uh, a new set for like mixing drinks. A new set? Yeah. Like the stainless? Yeah, like yeah. The, the mixer, the strainer, the measuring cup, and all the, all the shit I don't know how to fucking use. <laughs> <laughs> right. The stirs and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it, it came with a little recipe book, too. It did? It came in a book? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you get a you know, starter to make some drinks. So, so um, I wanted to ask you if you're watching any interesting shows. I'm running out of stuff to watch. Uh, I don't watch. Yeah, so I don't watch any uh, live TV anymore, really. I mean, we're all so busy. I watch all recorded stuff, but... Um, not live TV, from like streaming services like yeah. Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, HBO. I mean, I've got a number of shows that I watch that are on my watch list, like... Uh, the boys, I don't know if you've seen that. It's like a. This is about the attorneys. Who? Like attorneys? No, this no. is um, genetically engineered superheroes. But it's like oh, a corporation. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the but preview. It's, it's pretty corrupt, uh-huh. but it's pretty dirty and it's pretty naughty. And you know, or I watch like uh, this Halo series. It's probably on Paramount. I think it's based off a video game, but it's like uh, futuristic uh, warriors that are mm-hmm. not genetically engineered but they're uh enhanced humans that mm-hmm. are in these sort of uh robotic you know suits. warrior suits they they yeah, they protect people I mean, it's, it's just pretty cool stuff but i played the game what's that i've played the game yeah I've, I've not, never seen but the show. i think I, i've not played I don't, i'm not a gamer i don't i don't yeah. do that but um but there's you know there's those things there's a lot of shows i watch it's like a lot of like one just came off netflix it was lock and key it was called Oh, but I yeah. think they quit. I think they quit. They stopped making it. Oh, I, really? Do another another. Season. I was watching that with my son. Yeah, I like that. And um, um, this there's some other thing I watch. I don't. There, there's I, I can't. It's hard to keep up because mm-hmm. they come and go, uh, and then sometimes there's like a lot of fucking years in between episodes. I'm like Jesus Christ. I mean, I can't even remember what I watched yeah. last time. Like we watch a lot of this 1883. You know. Uh, yeah, those 1886, are good 1923, Yellowstone, mm-hmm. like stuff like that's pretty cool. Yeah, those are good series. But they, they, I mean, and now they got into breaking up seasons halfway through, and you're like, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's. That's why I put it all on my watch list or my favorites. So it just reminds me of what's coming out because I can't keep track. Well, can I recommend you a good one? Yeah, Working Moms. Is, is that a comedy? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like similar humor as what, what mm-hmm. we have here. You know, they're just they what, don't what, give what a platform fuck. is that on? What streaming service? I think that's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, Working so, Moms. I saw, um, or people were talking about uh, this thing on Netflix called Beef. Did you see this? Oh yeah, I just did. Finished you watch it? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so people are saying you should watch that. So I'll try that's that too about the road rage thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I don't know. And and basically they were saying like it's just a series about. Bad decisions, like you should. Okay, you should yep. that. One after yeah. another. So I'll, uh, well, then I'll check out both of those. Um, yeah, I think you will like Working Moms. Does Working Moms have anybody in it like, like famous, like well-known actresses, actors? Um, yes, I think. I don't know. I'm terrible. Oh my god, you are terrible, Roman. I am terrible. Look, I, I'm just gonna watch this fucking paint dry because this is what's happening. <laughs> 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 there, there are two actresses that. Look familiar. I've seen them in other stuff. Yeah, but um, well, either way, who cares? I mean, if they're if they're funny and cool, like I'll, I'll watch them. Because shows most... from Canada. What's that? The show is from Canada. Oh. So did you watch Shit's Creek from Canada? Did you oh watch fuck yeah, yeah that, that that's was fucking, fucking funny. That, that's gotta be one, and that's gotta be one, and then Letter Kenny also. I think they're from Canada, but they might film in Ohio. Letter Kenny was on you uh, Hulu, but uh, yeah, Shit's Creek is funnier than shit. Yeah, Shit's Creek that. is funny. Funnier than Shit's Creek. <laughs> but see it, what you did there so he was just here so Lee, Eugene Levy oh he Levy, was just here was just at uh, Possibilities like uh, three or four days ago no shit yeah. 
Yeah. Oh man, yeah. that's cool. Local. He was a. Uh, oh, was that movie? American, American Pie. Pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Yeah. No, that, that, that's all good stuff. And then um, one time in band camp. Yeah. I shoved the flute off my pussy. <laughs> That wasn't Eugene Levy. That was no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, hey, so you know we were talking about camping, mm-hmm. you know, last episode, and we're trying to figure out, or I was trying to figure out because there's really nobody else with me. I just talked to myself and I called a group, <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> it's a committee of me and just anything else that's in me, but uh, so. It, I was thinking about sex when you're camping. Like where, <laughs> where is the line with that? Like, like, you know, day one you're probably like, yeah, let's 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 do this. Day two you're thinking like, eh, I'll give it a shot. Day three you're like, mm, I don't know. And then day four, like if it's long term, you're like, what kind of hygiene's going on here? So, where is your line when it comes to sex? Camping, say, say, say for a week, say five days. I don't have a line. Oh my god, you're a dirty fuck. I'm, I'm a Scorpio, dude. What's that mean? Fucking horny as fuck all the time. I'm a Gemini. What's that mean? <laughs> I'm disgusted by fucking horny Scorpios. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to? Stay I mean, there's got to be odors and shit going on. Like you're pooping. Like what if, what if you're, what if is this? Yeah, is I mean, rustic? obviously, if it gets to a fucking point where you haven't What's showered that? and. If if you haven't like showered in fucking days, that's what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. talking about like rustic. Like you're you're like dig a hole camping. If and, you throw your underwear on the wall and it sticks, that's when you don't have sex. <laughs> yeah, but what if it sticks after the first day because you prematurely ejaculated, like we talked about earlier? Like what if it's Roman glue? All right, like, if your pillow doesn't stick to the wall, <laughs> but that's because I ejaculated on your pillow. <laughs> We can, we, I'll tie this in all day. I'll fucking do this all day. I'll do this all day. I'll do it all day. <laughs> well, so yeah, where's that line? Like, so we're talking about crotch crust, <laughs> like <laughs> crotch crust, <laughs> like, like, and, and, and from it's apl- cheese. <laughs> it's applicable to, to 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 men and women. Yeah, I'm sure they both have a line. But like you know, you like, like kids like eat like the center of the bread, and there's like the little crusty ring around the outside, like. <laughs> I imagine that's in parts after like a couple days. Like do if you, you think... don't shower, like so you're pooping, you gotta dig a hole. You're not fucking washing that thing because there's no showers around. Like what's Hopefully happening? There's a river or a lake nearby. Well, if you're using it, but maybe maybe it's cold or maybe there's not. And then what are you doing? Well, if, if you're you sticking your sex, face down there, be like, I'm fucking going in, man. If you want to have sex, deep you six, get in let's there do it. You rinse it, dude. Fucking, <laughs> we dive at five. <laughs> <laughs> Rinse, fuck, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yeah. I mean, I'll, got, I'll give it a shot, too, if I have to. Like, yeah. Whatever. Game on. Challenge accepted. Yep. But I was just thinking about that. But that wasn't a 317 in the morning thing on a Friday. So this wasn't one of those wasn't part of your dream. This is probably like lunchtime on a fucking Tuesday. I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's just weird shit. You crack me up, man. Um, And then there's another thing that kind of correlated that because I'm thinking, all right, well. Where's this line? So, you you know what a golden shower is? Yeah, I know what the golden shower. Would is. would so have you ever done a golden shower, or would you accept a golden? No, shower? No, but you want to hear a funny story? Yes, I would love to hear right. a funny story. Do you want do you want to finish your question first? Or? Nope, nope. My question is done because your story trumps <laughs> my question. So I used to um, live in a multifamily house a while ago. With with all your family? Um, yeah. Oh no! Did your cousin pee on you? No, gross. <laughs> so there was this this woman that lived on the first floor, but she wasn't related to you. No. Oh, what? I said multifamily house. Yeah, and I just asked if it was related to you, like if there was all people in your family. No, no, no. Pe- people in other units. I didn't know them. <laughs> so <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this beer? I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> this is a weird episode. So, anyways, she lived downstairs, and she. Had one or two kids, I don't remember. She was a single mom. So she was like, hey, Roman, you know, can you give me a hand assemble this bed? <laughs> I was like, I'll help you assemble this bed. We have some watch you assemble in. their bed. They're like, <laughs> drive so the nail home. That's she's like, so I assembled the bed, and it's like, you know, you know we're going to break it in. 
She's like, oh, let me put the kids to bed first. I'm like, okay. Really? <laughs> you yeah. do that with 80-year-olds? Come on. Stop making shit up. <laughs> <laughs> she was 70. So, <laughs> so then she got like weird. She's like, hey, you want to go in the bathroom and uh, pee on you? I'm like, fuck. What? No. <laughs> I mean, I, that's not even what I thought of. Like, when I'm thinking of golden shower, like, I'm doing the pee in. I don't want yeah. to be peed on. Yeah, she was like, oh, pee on. Like, no, I'm not fucking doing that. So, really, she's like, oh, this is exciting. Let me pee on you. Like, yeah. Like, I wouldn't get excited about peeing on someone. Like, yeah, no I mean, thing. if you wanted me to, I would, but like, I don't want to be peed on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I put a kibosh on that, and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> you put the kibosh on that. The <laughs> kibosh. <laughs> So she's like, you want to go and have sex on the beach? <laughs> so we live like walking. How old are you? What? The, how old are you at the time? Uh, 20. Uh-huh. <laughs> what, so is she like 30? No, no. Oh, yeah. She was a, yeah, she was in her 30s. Yeah. So we were like walking distance from, from the beach. I was like. I don't, I don't have sex on the beach because there's like sand and fucking sand's gonna yeah, get on the but dick. You could put sand in her clam and get an oh, oyster pearl. Dude, like, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking sandpaper, dude. Uh, no, I was like, no, no, can we not do that? Plus, like, get busted for it. Were you asked her, can we not do that? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> like, no. Can we just, like, we just put this bed together? Can we just, like, perfectly fine bed? She's making up excuses to have this, like, w- weird places to have sex in. I was like, no, it's just just do it here. So. <laughs> so you banged her on the beach? No, I didn't go on the beach. You guys went back home? No, we never left the house. <laughs> oh, I thought you guys were on the way to the beach. No, no, she wanted to go there. Oh. I'll tell her you go there, record it, and pretend I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> pretend I'm there. <laughs> No, Take my whatever. picture. I mean, whatever the kinks are. Yeah, so anyways, you, you mentioned golden showers. and just, whatever, I remember whatever, that. Whatever the kinks are, I'm fine with that. I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with people like that, but I, I don't want you to fucking pee on me for sure. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. I don't want you to pee on me. <laughs> on I'm making eye contact. And I'm licking my lips, telling you not to pee on me. Wow, this this podcast just took a turn, man. <laughs> no, the whole thing is just, yeah, it's, a, it's kind of all over the place today, but... So welcome to my brain. This is what happens every fucking day. And I try to organize shit, and I'm like, I just, it's not going to work. Do we have any shout-outs today? Any thank yous? Any, uh, we did the, the, the 714 Brewery. We did I Am Brew Squatch. Yes, we got uh, long sleeve shirts, hats, um, stickers yep. that will go on our board. We got uh, Rock, Rock Brewcast, and we got Chuck Mountain. Yes. Oh man, I'm looking forward to uh, hearing their music. I, it's it's really impressive. I'm I'm just uh, I'm glad that there's people out there still doing that because you know ZZ Top was a three piece band and, and I I don't know that maybe they're not that's not even an influence of theirs. It mm. just reminds me of them. But um, pretty cool shit. So, but we're probably you know a month or two away, or or possibly longer from from listening to that. But either way, whenever whenever they're ready, we're ready. You know. Mm. Do you think there's like new genres that popped out in the last maybe ten, ten years? Uh, I, well, I think there's always new genres. I think they, I mean, you can't really classify that because you'd have a million fucking genres. So I think they just have, you know, different, you know, uh, versions of a lot of genres. Because how can you keep making shit up? You know, it's got to be, it's got to be uh, something that's, at some point you got to stop. I mean, I mean there, there's electronic or there's dancers. I mean, mm-hmm. what's the difference between electronic and dance? I was just, yeah, I was just wondering if there's yeah. like any type of like a new music genres that pop I mean, up and I how think, different they are from others. I'll be honest. I think uh, there might be something different coming up. Like we talk about the episode art, AI generated, mm-hmm. that's all stuff you do. And it's mm-hmm. fucking phenomenal. So you people got to really look at it. But there may be some AI generated, and, and I think there is actually. I, I read a, a music, a, yeah, like AI generated yeah, they, music. They, they, they um, they use someone. It was a little controversial because they use someone, and and the, and the person approved it. Mm-hmm. Uh, whoever the singer was, I just can't remember. Um, but it was maybe like a, a merge of two different people, and they made a song, and it was it was fine, it was good. 
Hmm. I, I haven't heard it, but I think maybe that's going to create some order. You know, maybe it's you know an AI, an AI genre, but I don't know what that'll sound like. I haven't heard it, but I mean, technology. Um, it's gonna it it facilitates a lot of new things. It, you know, in, in particular for music, it's gonna be probably a new genre. But yeah, we gotta we gotta keep up with it. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna I be able to keep up with it. I don't think America or or the world's uh, gonna be able to keep up. I think we in, in general as as humans just need to yeah. be able to keep up with how fast. Where are we at with that pause going. you were talking about? That that pause when they were calling for the pause. I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah, I mean. I mean, yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect you to you yeah. know, follow up. I just didn't know if you had heard anything. But Google um, wants to have this like general AI, like 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 uh, I don't know, super powerful AI that would just like oversee everything, like stupid, crazy shit. Mm, this is like, like yeah, this is not this, okay. <laughs> this is Big Brother shit for sure. Oh, I I listened to um, uh, Joe Rogan. He had Howie Mandel. The comedian, yeah, and Howie Mandel said he sold his voice or something or some kind of a right for an AI program. I guess you can do that. I imagine, and and that's that's a lot. I think of what these podcasts are about. There's, there's um, when you're when you're when you're already famous or mm-hmm. popular, well known. I think it's a little easier to kind of burst in these industries and maybe it squashes the little guy a little bit, but, um, I mean, I think they can all, I, a lot of people, I mean, like, like, uh, James Earl Jones from Darth Vader, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, I'm sure he can sell, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what application there is. I don't, I think it's endless and I just don't know that there's enough right now to know how many there is, but I think all these people are going to be able to do that. And like, we have voiceover commercials, you have actors, people know, like people don't know us. I mean, Fucking AI my voice. I'll sign some shit right now. Like I'll No, but they don't own the content. So I don't understand how they how... Well, that's probably part of the contract. They say, I give you my voice, you do whatever the fuck you want with it. Right, but other stuff that they use, um, like say for example they imitated uh someone's voice. They don't have a right to it. Like Well but you said Howie Long signed this over how, office. Howie yeah, Howie had a contract Soul, yeah, but other people, if you take it, then yeah, no, there's, there's got to be some sort of litigation. Like currently, AI can generate uh, fake interviews, right, with right. people's voices that they don't own, the right. Kid. And I don't, I don't believe. Yeah, I see what you're getting at. I don't believe that should be allowed. But yeah. I don't know how they're gonna defend against that. And, and I mean, who do you sue? I think anything that is AI involved in should be disclosed. Like we're disclosing for episode art, we're using AI for that. Yeah, so yeah, you're ta- you're talking about me. We do, we do. But yeah, yeah I think, but I yeah. think in in general in society, when people use a- AI for anything, they need to disclose it. But why? Why would so? Yeah, you're right. But for me, why would I? Why would I want to listen to an AI generated interview that's not real? That's so you're just listening to lies, like. If it's then people can make that decision. Do they want to listen to it? Why? Interview? Why would you listen to that? I, mean, I don't well, understand. That's our opinion. You know, that's that, that's how we feel about. It. But other people might be like, oh, yeah, but you can AI do this for all kinds of shit. Like, oh, you know, uh, if you're gonna now you got some asshole uh, using someone's voice for an AI generated announcement about war. Oh, you know, uh, someone bombed us, and like it's not true. And yeah, now that, there's all this fucking anarchy and panic. Like, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to govern this. That's not going to be allowed, but obviously, this will be used for you know for bad intent. A lot, a lot of good stuff is used for bad intent, and just yeah. No, in, in when you just filter that out. Yeah, people are, are ratings and in 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 revenue and money money motivated. Mm-hmm. Um, and to be one hundred percent completely honest with everybody here, uh, that's not ours. I mean, the, the shit we talk about. Is stuff we would just talk about whether we're recording or not. Like it's it's pretty funny shit. That's how we decided to do it. Like now you can remember. Yeah. Like you just you know, we talk about a lot of stuff. Like I'm kinda concerned now about this pound round because I talk too much. So you're gonna be fucking drinking the whole time I'm talking and I'll I'm gonna be, be burping. You. You. I'll I'll be burping, you'll be slurping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> beer. I'll be slurping beer. Let's 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 put that stipulation there. I'm not slurping anything else. 
<laughs> All right, uh, you want to wrap it up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should we should probably wrap this up. This is All a right. this is a weird episode for us, but I hope you guys like it. And I, uh, you know, again, we all appreciate you guys supporting us and keep sending us your uh, your uh, suggestions and, and and questions and and your stories, and and we'll keep bringing it to you. Yeah, give us more more feedback. We we want to improve where we need to, and when you know accommodate the listeners. Yep. Better stories, or you know. Sounds good. Go out there and chase some material. Slurps away. (laughs) All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.